Welcome back to Retirement Spark on TalkZone.com. Here's your host, Dan Vito. Welcome back to the Retirement Spark Talk Show. Our guest today is Scott Perry. Scott is a Chief Operating Officer of CNO Financial and President of Bankers Life and Casualty Company. And I'll just remind you, if you'd like to join the conversation by asking a question or making a comment, please give us a call at 888-463-6748. Or if you prefer, you can email us at talkshow at retirementspark.com. That's talkshow at retirementspark.com. So, Scott, um, you know, we were discussing some of the most pressing uh, retirement concerns of everyday Americans. I mean, these are important issues for many people. Um, but, you know, sometimes, at least in my experience, when I talk with people, they can sometimes feel overwhelmed. I mean, even if kind of somewhere inside of them, they want to address them, they're very complicated and, you know, there's so many moving parts. So, you know, I always recommend that people meet with a financial professional to develop a customized solution, um, something that will work for them. But I found the research coming out of the Center for Secure Retirement was quite fascinating. It really said that many, many people are hesitant to work with a financial professional. And in fact, uh, you know, something greater than I think 50% of middle income Americans, uh, you know, do not receive any professional guidance of any kind. Yeah, tell, a, tell, uh, tell me, uh, let's just talk about that a little bit because it's it's really quite staggering and troubling. Yeah, it's a, a very surprising. Our study found that 54% of middle income retirees and 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 post-retirees and pre-retirees don't receive any professional guidance. Wow, and, that's that's kind of really going it alone. Yeah, and it's really a shame. In, in our CSR study, we found that because those that do receive advice and guidance feel better prepared than those that don't. Um, also, they're more confident that they have saved enough to live comfortably uh, during retirement than those that don't receive any professional guidance. Yeah. So, you know, kind of surprise, surprise, it works. Meet it works. with somebody and you, you feel, you feel better. better. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, any insight you can share with folks, you know, why don't middle income Americans get the kind of advice that clearly could help them, um, you know, in working with, with a trained professional? Yeah. The, you know, the top three reasons uh, from our study uh, that we found why people are resistant or don't work mm -hmm. with a professional. Um, number one, they feel they can do it themselves. And, you know, this may be true uh, mm -hmm. for some, but the reality is people just don't have time. More than half of those uh, that don't uh, work with a professional advisor spend less than uh, one hour uh, a month on retirement plan. <laughs> one hour yeah. a month. One yeah. hour a month's not going to cut. That's not going to cut. That's not going to cut. <laughs> uh, and also, as I mentioned earlier, those that do work with a professional advisor are going to feel feel better about right. being prepared. Right. Uh, secondly, people feel it's just too expensive. Hmm. Uh, again, it's one of those myths. Uh, yeah, they feel right. that the only way you can get good advice is by spending a lot on fees. And the reality is professional guidance is generally uh, available without fees. And there's some, in particular, uh, uh, product type of advice that can be get through products like life insurance, annuities, mm -hmm. and long-term care, and supplemental insurance, where the advisor doesn't have to charge a fee uh, to the individual. So it's not expensive, and right. there, are, there are options available. Right. Uh, lastly, uh, s people feel they don't have enough assets. Don't have enough assets, meaning what? They're not rich enough to meet with somebody Absolutely. to bother? They okay. feel that an advisor or uh, an insurance professional won't bother with them wow. because right. they don't have enough. And the reality is our study found that 10 of 10 advisors and insurance firms uh, indicated that they would discuss retirement planning with anyone with as little as $2,500. Uh, wow. In, right. in fact, our company, Bankers Life and Casualty, we have thousands of agents that meet with thousands of Americans each week to do initial retirement reviews. And that, uh, is there a fee for that, that initial review? No fee for it. Uh, we don't require you to be wealthy, although right. we're happy to meet with you if you are. <laughs> of course. Um, but, you know, we want to help people and we're willing to meet with anybody that's willing to take the steps to improve uh, their preparation for retirement. Yeah, I would imagine if I were you know, an advisor, just as long as someone has a good attitude and is willing to take the right steps and is committed to doing something, they, they'd be willing to meet with them. Um, Absolutely. So tell us, Scott, if someone wants to get in touch with a, a banker's agent, um, what's the best or easiest way to, to find an agent? Best way to do it is uh, to go to our website at www.bankers.com. Uh, you can type in your zip code and they'll get a listing of branch offices and licensed professional agents and advisors that are close to where they live. Fantastic. Easy enough. Um, you know, I've got a note here from Dave, our engineer, that we've just uh, received another email from someone. Uh, his name is Evan. Um, 
Yeah, or uh, actually, I'm going to take this other email first. Uh, there's an advisor in Colorado, um, and she asks, um, "How can an advisor gain the confidence of new clients?" So, you know, we we talked about how people are reluctant to meet, and so this is an advisor saying, "Well, right. what do I need to do to to make somebody comfortable to work with me and yeah. take the right steps?" It's a great question. I'm glad an advisor's asking the question. Mm-hmm. Um, most advisors have a wealth of information and data and charts and right. slick information, and they can't <laughs> wait to dazzle their clients with it. Uh, and that's fine, but I don't recommend that's the place that that be the place to start. Right. Uh, I think the advisor should always start by getting to know their client, understanding the their unique situation and their needs. Uh, if you take the time to understand what your customer is looking for, what your prospect is looking for, and they feel like they've been heard right. uh, and that their particular situation is understood, they'll be much more willing to listen to the advisor's uh, suggestions and solutions that are offered. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, no one wants to just be get a cookie cutter solution, one size fits all. They really want to, you know, feel like you're addressing my needs. Yeah rather than just, you know, Absolutely, and that's the place to start. Start by understanding your your clients or prospects' needs. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm gonna take the caller here. We have a a caller, his name is Evan. He's from uh, La Crosse, Indiana. Hi, Evan, welcome to the Retirement Spark Talk Show. Do you have a a question or a comment for our guest, Scott? Hey, Dan, uh, thanks for taking my call. Um, First off, you know, I just wanna say that I I agree with everything that uh, your guest, Scott, is saying about working with someone like a professional mm-hmm. advisor, and this is something, you know, I, I really need to do. Um, I heard you touch upon it a little bit, but the question I had was, you know, what's the best way to go about finding the right retirement advisor for me? And I'm not really sure where to start. You know, I could go through the yellow pages, I could start calling people, I could start searching the internet, but it kind of feels like I'm not really prepared to start, you know, like what kind of questions should I have? How should I get ready to, you know, make that selection? So if there's any yeah. tips that your guests can provide me on how I could prep before meeting with an advisor or, or what I should look for when I make this, you know, when I select the right advisor, I'd greatly appreciate it. Well, that's a great question, Evan. And, you know, I'd like to just sort of in a way congratulate you for having the courage to, to you know, set out and meet with someone. So, so, you know, Scott here, Evan, he's kind of making the right decision. He's got the right mindset but has some questions. So mm-hmm. how do you go out and find someone that you're going to really make some big decisions with? I mean, what, what kind of guidance can you give Evan? Yeah, well, a, a great place to start is by talking to family and friends, uh, neighbors, okay. uh, people you trust about, people they may have worked with, somebody, you know, who, who's kind of their like advisor. Personal kind of testimonial. Personal referrals or, right, uh, yep. you know, is, are, are absolutely a, a great place to start. Um, also, uh, you may have somebody that you work with today uh, that uh, either could help you or knows somebody that can ha- help you. So another professional. So if right. you had somebody who worked on your will, uh, your accountant, again, right. great place to go for right. lawyer. Uh, I suppose any kind of professional person may be connected to others. A- absolutely, yeah, makes sense. Uh, you know, always always great to get referrals. You can also go to the Center for Secure Retirement's mm-hmm. website, um, and we gave that mm-hmm. link out earlier, and. W- on the center's website, we have links to some national organizations that can help you locate an advisor. Um, but no matter uh, where you kind of gain that uh, that contact from, right. uh, there's some important things that you need to do. You first need to make sure that your uh, the advisor or the agent is properly licensed and accredited in your particular state. Yeah. Uh, and also, you know, make sure you pick an advisor that you can feel comfortable with. Uh, again, back to my, uh, I would recommend somebody that starts out by understanding your particular yeah. needs. Yeah, I mean, and Scott, what if somebody just doesn't do that? What if you really feel like somebody's talking to you about stuff and they haven't taken time to get to it? I mean, what do you do at yeah, that there, point? Yeah, there's, there's two things. Uh, first of all, I recommend uh, if, especially a, a retiree or somebody who's approaching retirement, that it should be a family affair. Uh, mm-hmm. Certainly get your spouse involved, right, uh, right. other family, children, um, so they can help you. Uh, number one, it's good to have them there to listen to sure, your concerns as well. And another set of eyes, right. and they can give you feedback on the advisor. Yeah. But right. if you're not comfortable, move on, find somebody else. Okay. Yeah. Um, right. you, absolutely. You're you know, you're in level charge. of comfort right. uh, is important, and, and absolutely, you're in charge. Yeah. Okay. That's great advice. Well, we hope uh, Evan is able to find uh, you know a good advisor, and 
you know, make, take steps to improve his retirement outlook. So uh, we are due to take a short break. Uh, before we do, I want to just remind you that uh, in order to learn more about the Banker Center for a Secure Retirement, you can visit the website at cent- www.centerforasecureretirement.com. Um, And as we mentioned uh, during this segment, if you'd like to contact a Bankers Life and Casualty Company agent, you can visit bankers.com or there's a phone number here. You can call 800-231-9150 and you can find an agent right in your community. And finally, if you'd like to learn more about Retirement Spark, you can visit us at retirementspark.com. Okay, short break. Stay tuned. We'll be more. Back with more. 